Hello and welcome. This presentation is brought to you by Brightpoint Infotech. And today we're going to take you through setting up chart of accounts in 365 Business Central. This is presented to you by CPA Willie Oport, Senior Technical Consultant, Brightpoint. Um, brief about Brightpoint Infotech. It's a consultancy firm with over 15 years experience in the provision of ERP with its head office in USA, Fort Foridel. Reach out to us at sales at Brightpoint Infotech or www.brightpointinfotech.com. I would like us to go straight into the presentation. Thank you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, upon successfully logging into Business Central, you'll be able to see the home page, which is easily navigatable. This particular case is Kronas Company, and I'm using Sandbox. And uh, you can access the chart of accounts using this straight hyperlink, or you can go to Finance and then look through the menu and get chart of accounts or then you can also still use the search icon and then type in chart of accounts of course the system has intelligence so it will pull you chart of accounts as fast as possible so either way I'll click on chart of accounts and because this is already an existing company that has chart of accounts already set up that's why we have many chart of accounts now for this particular case I'm interested in creating a new one so we can see under the window of chart of accounts there is new edit delete edit view process report and page all these have various menus under them but in the interest of this, we're going to go and create a new account. So I'll click on new. And on clicking on new, the system will open for me a general ledger account card. Now this card also has menu that has account process, balance, price discount and more. If I click on more, I have actions, reports and many others. Of course, at this point, they will require that I enter an account number and I'm just entering an account number randomly this account number should be as per the organizational structure maybe assets will be one liabilities two equities three depending on how you you've drawn your chart of accounts so this particular case I'll say this is cash Then when we come to income or balance type, depending on what it is, if it's cash, then it should definitely be a balance sheet account. Or if it's an expense or a revenue, then it will be an income statement account. The categories, it is also an asset. The subcategories, I will also have to pick, which is cash. Then the posting, do I want to have both posting? yeah maybe because people want to reverse transactions in the in the account posting type is posting here if you put the header it means it cannot allow you to post total begin end when you say posting it means you can post in this account then one major important uh, field here is called direct posting if it's a control account then we will not allow this direct posting then we go into the next tab, which is posting. The general posting type, is it a purchase, sale, settlement? And then is it what we call the business posting types, maybe domestic, and the rest if you have them. So you'll be able to give them. Now in case it's a, a company that has to consolidate, it's a parent company, then in this parent company, we're supposed to define the console debit account and console credit account for this particular account to map it for the purpose of 
consolidation. The reporting, if we need to report for any exchange rate adjustments, and the cost accounting as well as a tab. So this is how easy it is to create an account in chart of accounts. Now the system, when I go, when I go back, it will definitely save so we can be able to see the account that I have created. It is called cash. So let me see, this is the cash I have created. Now I can open it up and I'm back in the same account. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for giving us your time. If you have any other further question, reach out to us at brightpointinfotech.com so that we can be able to help you. Thank you.